I think we have to be careful and not disrespect the office of the President of the United States. But sometimes it's hard when we have a particular office holder. Jennifer M. Granholm, being the Secretary of Energy, was not a wise choice. When she was governor of Michigan, she seemed like a nice, caring individual, and as governor, very, very weak. Where she shined was as an ambassador for the state. With that portion of her job, she was great. But let's be honest, she should never have had an executive position anywhere at the federal level. She probably would have made a great ambassador. Currently, she is helping Mr. Biden put his foot in his mouth, showing the world that even as a greeter at Walmart, it would be pushing his capabilities. It's his age that is hurting him. So let's do a talk about. Hello anyone, I'm Scott Payne. They call me the old farmer. Can you believe that Washington is now going after ceiling fans? In video 243, proper fans are better than air condition. I explain that proper use of ceiling fans can almost eliminate air conditioning. It's much more affordable than air and feels more natural. Now, Mr. Biden is going to try and put a whole bunch of regulations in place that will screw up a real energy saver. I believe you need big ceiling fans that are used properly. It will make a room feel much cooler at the fraction of the cost of air conditioning. The traditional ceiling fan today is an AC reversible motor that has fans attached to swirl the air, giving us a gentle breeze that is cooling. The hotter it is, the more air that needs to be moved. So the government is trying to make it so complicated that manufacturers will either go out of business or tack on an extra zero on the end of the price tag. Whereas the government should give tax credits for those folks who install ceiling fans in their homes, businesses, and place of worship. In the summertime, they help cool the air at a much less cost in energy. In the wintertime, ceiling fans can help reduce heating costs by keeping the warm air closer to the floor and away from the ceiling. I'll say it again, real energy savers. If only someone from the Biden administration had actually taken the time to talk to folks who build fans to get the true facts. There is a more efficient way to run ceiling fans and that is with a DC reversible motor. This is what the government wants and so do I. So if I were the president, I would offer a tax break to the ceiling fan manufacturers and to taxpayers to install this type of ceiling fan with a DC reversible motors. Make it so that the market will move to more efficient fans by tax incentives, both at manufacturing and at the retail side of things. In fact, I would make the qualifications for tax incentives to any business that offers 60% of their ceiling fans with DC reversible motors for the next couple of years and then after that make it 95% of manufactured fans be DC reversible. Plus for any such fans formatted for floor and also window fans. I believe we can move the fan industry to the more efficient motors with a natural process. This type of fan will use less electricity and also eliminate that hum that is so common with AC ceiling fans. Granted, they cost more, partly due to fewer are made and partly due to the fact that they cost more to actually make. You don't need a whole bunch of regulations or mandates. Make it so that everyone wants ceiling fans with DC reversible motors. It's just that simple. Also, I would encourage the more air it moves, the better the tax break. 
There are fans that can move 10,000 cubic feet of air and will fit into most homes. The problem is already solved. So why all this asinine regulation that only makes things harder and more expensive? I would be doing it Mr. Biden's way if he would throw some of his bribe money into the pot to ease the burden on the average family. Give me a big enough tax break and I would replace all four ceiling fans and the six window fans plus all the floor fans I have, say that a hundred times, plus all the floor pans plus all the floor fans with DC operated fans. And as my last point I wish to make is that having a fan immediately above the bed makes hot and humid weather a thing of the past. Thanks for watching. Before we go, thank you to our subscribers who helped us reach over the 1,000 subscription mark. It's very humbling to receive the support from our subscribers. Thank you. I will always try to give you accurate information and I'm not worried if you disagree in comments. Just remember, youngsters may read your words. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Payne saying, Be well, be safe, and be kind to someone today. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, share, or ring the bell buttons on the original Old Farmer channel. We enjoy reading the comments that you leave, and they do help the channel, so keep them coming. And once again, thank you for watching The Original Old Farmer. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.